Forest fires are really a natural disturbance and renewal process. Fire suppression is any tactics that are used to control or extinguish a wildfire once it starts. Fire suppression really has resulted in a lack of diversity in our forests. We get forest stands that are all the same age, uh, lots of the same species. The canopy closes, uh, sunlight's not reaching the forest floor, so we're not getting growth of important forage species. So really a monoculture of sorts. And that has impacts on wildlife. Over many years of fire suppression, we've lost some really key sheep habitat. Bighorn sheep are often forced to move into other open habitats in places like golf courses, on people's lawns, or next to highways and roads. And that puts them at risk of being hit by motor vehicles. Around kind of the early 1980s, there was a recognition by parks managers and scientists that there was a need to bring fire back onto the landscape. Prescribed fire is the knowledgeable application of fire, so deliberately starting fires, but under very specific and controlled circumstances. We're looking at things like humidity, uh, temperature, wind speed and wind direction, and making sure that everything's aligning so that we know what the fire behavior is gonna look like. We can control the size and extent of the fire and really look at targeting specific intensities so that we can help enhance sheep habitat we can open up the forest canopy, allow species like grasses and forbs so that sheep have foraging opportunities away from uh, human infrastructure and highways. Through that process, we're able to eliminate fuels around communities that would otherwise be present and if they started on fire, during a less opportunistic time, uh, like the middle of summer when we're in extreme fire danger, put communities at risk. So using prescribed fire, uh, we make those communities much safer and more resilient.